So NEO finally gave us a teaser today around NEO autonomous driving and I mentioned it in a couple of videos already that this functionality is going to be launched in Q4. I would actually be surprised if that one is on time because software development uh, oftentimes takes quite a bit longer, right? And well, I'm personally planning with Q1, but let's assume they do it in Q4. Um, yeah, it's given here the introduction that, of course, LiDAR will finally um, come to fruition and show what it can do. And while if I look at this um, teaser here by NEO, uh, it certainly seems like they are stressing the factor of the um, security and safety aspects mostly. So, for example, mentioning that this works in glare in not at night. It has a great um, environmental capabilities in terms of like um, per perceiving what's happening around the car, uh, even stationary objects. So these are some things that we have seen in the past that um, yeah, autonomous driving cars or those that are currently achieving L3, L4 um, are having trouble with um, like kind of identifying objects that are not moving. Um, objects that are maybe too small to be visible, things like that. And this some seems to be where LiDAR uh, could come in handy. And um, yeah, maybe this also tells us a little bit about what to expect of these functionalities. Because if we're looking, we see, of course, those full self-driving videos by Tesla already out there, um, which are very interesting to watch because it's um, kind of um, by the community, right? Those who get access to FSD. Um, can enable it and they are sometimes launching their own YouTube channels around it and you can see the improvements or the, the problems with new iterations of the software. And for NEO, I think we won't see the same thing. In China, I would say they are going different pathways. I don't think that they will allow such kind of, um, you know, <laughs> kind of a, a self-testing on the roads publicly with a what they would pos possibly perceive as an unfinished software. Whereas um, Tesla can certainly go that road uh, route down, at least in, in the US, although also facing a little bit of criticism here and there. But I would say um, the fact that there hasn't been an accident with FSD or the FSD beat, uh, beta involved um, tells us that yeah, the approach of sending it out to beta testers isn't that bad either. Um, people know that this is just beta software and they can, um, yeah, they have to monitor the steering, of course, and things like that. And I think with NEO, it might be different based on this teaser. I would say um, they will maybe start with um, implementing some safety features that are um, yeah, warning the driver, help them to navigate difficult situations and maybe not right out start with something that is, you know, um, having the feeling of, okay, I can take off my hands off the wheel and this is, you know, driving uh, me through the city. Um, I would say that I possibly take a more cautious approach and that is also what they are stressing here in this video. So these are my first remarks. I'm hopeful that we will see more of that. Actually, yesterday I already posted that this guy from Axpom has joined Neo and he was, um, telling us publicly something about it. So I'm actually hoping that NEO starts picking up a little bit and talk more about the technology and their approach, similar to, for example, Tesla is holding such kind of even investor events where they are showing like how they are working on it in the background, how Dojo system works, how the neural nets work and things like that. And I think NEO has lots of this potential as well, but they're not talking about it, right? Their approach is quite different. And also uh, William Lee, Lee Bin, he also mentioned that uh, we're not gonna um, send out similar videos where we kind of, see, um, you know, kind of show the world um, what we've been testing. I would rather see this as a more, yeah, once they feel that this is um, ready to, to launch, they will kind of bring it to the fleet. Anyways, I'm talking too much. Thank you guys for watching and see you in the next one.